Hi everyone, in this video we'll see how to create a leveling system using the associated data tables. Um, so first we're going to create a new folder called leveling and open it. And in here we're going to create three new stats called experience, experience max, and level. Right, we can open experience and override getting settings. We'll set its display name to experience. Um, now we'll drag maximum and use maximum link stat pointing to experience max and we'll check can go above maximum. So this way, whenever our experience goes above our experience max, um, it will keep the surplus and we'll manually uh, decrease our experience. So we'll go inside our event graph and type in begin play. We'll use the dispatcher uh, on reached maximum and call this event event on reached maximum so this will be triggered every time our experience reaches our experience max we will set the base value uh, whenever you use a function in directly inside your stats uh, use uh, do, do not use uh, the quick functions because the quick functions are designed to be used inside an actor, as you can see. Uh, use the simple function, so set base value, this one. So we'll simply uh, set our experience to the delta between our current value and the reached value, which is our experience max. So we'll do minus. And this way, if our experience reaches 12, for example, and our experience max is 10, uh, it will set our experience to 2, and now we just need to level up. So we'll get stat reference. Uh, same thing, do not use uh, the quick function, because we are not inside an actor, we're inside our stat. So get stat ref, uh, and we'll simply uh, increment our level like that. Increment in, is simply plus one. All right. So every time our experience uh, reaches experience max, we'll keep the surplus of experience and increase our level. Now we can open experience max and override get, it, override get in settings. Set its display name to experience max. We can open level and override get in settings and uh, we we'll call it level <coughs> and here we're going to use the associated data tables uh, but in order to use associated data table you need your stat to be a simulated integer uh, you can't use associated data tables if you've not set a method for your simulated integer so we'll use a simulated int value and we can drag the associated data table and as you can see we can associate to data table so as you can see it asks for a data table so we're going to create one we can right click miscellaneous and use data table you need to select the stats modifier row and we'll call it leveling table we can open it and now if you go back to your level you can link this data table uh, this leveling table to your level so if you add new rows uh, click the button add uh, we'll add uh, five rows for example the row name is going to be the value of your stats so in this case the level so if i press f2 to rename and call it one two three, four, and five. Every time we reach, uh, if we reach the level one, it's gonna trigger this stats modifiers, uh, level two, this one, etc., etc. This way you can really organize your data de depending on the level. So what can we do with the stats modifiers? We have multiple options. Uh, of course you have the mod, which allows you to uh, set the stats modifier to apply only for certain stats components modes. You have the stat setters, uh, which allows you to set a stat to a certain value. 
uh, I could select a stat and set it to a certain value. Uh, you have stats modifiers, uh, same thing as for the setters, but instead it will uh, increase or decrease your stats value. And the raw effect, which, which allows you to add a custom class in order to, uh, to trigger some logic whenever you reach uh, this row in particular. But here we'll just, uh, we will need uh, stats setters uh, in order to set our experience max to a new value. So for example, we could set it to 10 for the level 1, uh, 15 for the level 2, uh, 30 for the level 3, or whatever you want. But uh, in order to show you how to do this with curves, uh, we'll instead use a curve, like in the previous video when we used the um, inheritance. Uh, so in order to set our experience max uh, depending on the level, we'll use a curve. So we can remove this stats modifier row, and uh, we can go inside our experience max. All right, so here uh, we can drag inheritance and make an array. And we'll make a curved inheritance. Uh, the parent stat is going to be the level, and it asks for a curve. So we're going to create a new curve, go inside miscellaneous, use curve, curve float, and we'll call it experience max per level. So this will be the experience max, uh, so the amount of experience needed uh, for every level in order to go to the next level. So we'll add a new key. The level is going to start at 1, so we don't need to fill it for 0. So whenever we level 1, we will need 10 experience to go to the level. Uh, I lost my curve here. Uh, we will need 10 experience to go to the level 2. We can add a new key. When we are level 2, we need 15 experience to go to the level 3. And where, when we are level 3, we'll need, uh, let's say, 25 experience to go to level 4. And when we are level 4, we'll need 50 experience to go to the level 6. So uh, as you can see this way, it's pretty simple to, to add and modify your values. Of course, you could also do this with the stats modifiers, uh, as I showed you. So now go back to your experience max and link the curve we just created. We can compile and save. So here, it's, it's already functional. Uh, if, we, uh, if we added our stats inside our stats component, uh, we already have a leveling system which works. Uh, we can see how. Uh, go inside your character third-person character, uh, my stats component, and I'm going to add our new stats. So experience, experience max, and level. Our level is going to start at 1. We don't need to set a default value for our experience max because it's going to be set automatically with the curve. And now um, we're just going to... so. We're just going to create uh, something to increase our experience in, our in order to test it. Uh, so we'll just modify base value. Uh, this time, as you can see, we used the quick function because we are inside a, an actor, which is our character. We'll, increment, uh, we'll increase our experience by 6. We can compile and save. And now if I hit play, if I press C, it's going to show our values. Uh, so, as you can see, our experience is 0, experience max 10. Uh, it used the curve to find the experience max needed uh, depending on the level. So, if I press V, now we have 6 experience. And if I press V again, it's going to set our experience to 12. Uh, so, we're going to level up, uh, level 2, and set our experience to 2. Alright, as you can see, our leveling system rock, works as intended. But it doesn't actually do anything. Uh, we could want to increase some stats, for example. So that's what we are going to do with the leveling table. Uh, so for the level 2, for example, uh, we could increment our agility by 1. 
Uh, of course, you have a mod. So if you have different sets components, uh, let's say a warrior or a wizard, you could, for example, for the warrior, increase the strength, and for the wizard, increase uh, its uh, intellect or whatever you want. But to keep it simple, we'll uh, use all to work for any stats component. Uh, when we reach level 3, we will increase um, our constitution by 1. Level 4, we will increase our uh, health regen by 1. Uh, of course, you, ca you can also uh, modify multiple stats uh, every time you, you level up uh, like that. And whenever we reach the level 5, we'll uh, increment uh, our critical rate by 1. Okay. Alright, so now we can test this test it again, sorry. Uh, so if we hit play, uh, I press C to see our stats, and now if I level up, we should see our um, agility go, uh, go up by one. All right. Now if I level up again, uh, I press V multiple times, uh, we, we should see our constitution go up. And as, as you can see, our health max uh, also catched up, so now we have uh, 110 uh, HP. If I press V again multiple times, uh, we should level up and our S region is going to go up by 1. Alright. And uh, if I go up one time again, uh, it's going to increase our critical rate. Alright. You could also, uh, if you want, for example, uh, your character to uh, increase uh, its attribute. Uh, if you want the player to increase uh, its attributes uh, itself, uh, you could, for example, create a new stat called uh, attribute points. And every time you level up, uh, you give some attribute points to your character and allow him to spend his attribute points into the different stats that he has. Uh, that's what I did in the example content. If you, uh, if you downloaded it, uh, you can see how I did this. Uh, simply, it's very simple. You just add uh, a stat called uh, available available uh, points, uh, and uh, every time you level up, you give some uh, points. All right. Uh, there's one last thing that uh, we didn't see. If you go back to your level, as you can see, we have uh, a raw value check method. Uh, exact value is what you're going to use for a leveling system because every time we level up, we will go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, will be uh, to the exact value every time. Even if we have en enough experience to go directly from 1 to 3, it's going to do 1, then 2, then 3 uh, because of the way we we set up the uh, the way we level up here. But there is also another method, which is greater or equal. If, for example, you have uh, thresholds, uh, so I want to do something whenever, uh, I don't know, uh, whenever a certain stat reach, uh, is equal or above 50, uh, 100, but I don't know if it will exactly be 50 or exactly be 100. So if uh, the start in question is uh, 60, it's going to trigger this one if you select greater or equal. I will set it back to 1 and 2. And uh, finally, the additional threshold effect is simply a class in which you can add some logic and it will trigger every time you reach a new row. It doesn't matter which row. So for the raw effect, it's for this row in particular, but for the additional uh, threshold effect, it's going to be triggered every time you reach a new row. And every row can only be triggered once, of course. Alright, so I think that's it for this video. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to ask me, either in the comments or mail or whatever. And uh, yeah. I, I hope this was uh, helpful and uh, see you in the next video.